Hey guys, David Bear here, and in this training, we're going to be talking about webinars. Now, I am not somebody who produces a lot of webinars. In fact, I'm kind of nervous about webinars. Now, I do a lot of videos, and what happens is I do them uh, typically pre-recorded. So uh, I do it from the comfort of um, of my office here, and I don't have anybody here live listening or watching. It's kind of, you know, uncomfortable for me to have uh, people witnessing what I'm doing live. But I recognize the importance of um, the psychology behind a live exchange, and I'm really working hard to figure out how to incorporate webinars into my own um, business on a regular basis. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the technical aspect of webinars because I, I do actually support uh, uh, some clients who do webinars, uh, sitting around in the background, helping them with the technical setup and things like that, and I wanted to address... Um, some of the common questions that I get from clients. Now, what we're looking at right here is a website um, for a service called GoToWebinar. They have been um, sort of the, the benchmark industry leader in webinars for a very long time, but there are a few reasons why um, uh, many people have stopped using this platform, are uh, are shying away from it, and um, and I'm going to show you one of those reasons right now. It's it's the pricing. Um, it is not inexpensive to use GoToWebinar. Now, GoToWebinar is great for a lot of things. It's um, uh, it's also a little buggy, and it's got some problems, particularly if you want to um, replay webinars. Uh, and I, I know a lot of people who have difficulty rendering the um, the video afterwards, or they forget to record the whole thing, and then they then they have to do it all over again basically if they want to have a, um, uh, a a a replay available. Uh, another another um, thing that a lot of people do is they actually use something like ScreenFlow or Camtasia to record it. Uh, because they need the extra insurance because GoToWebinar doesn't actually uh, always come through with the recording. So anyway, I, I don't use GoToWebinar. It's not something that uh, I, I think I've, I've participated uh, on the back end of like one or two GoToWebinars um, ever. But look at the pricing. If you have 100 attendees uh, on, on a regular basis at, at your webinars, it's 89 bucks a month. All right. But if you have exceed that 100 attendees um, and let's say you, you have an upper limit of up to 500 attendees, attendees, well, that's 200 bucks a month. And let's say you exceed that 500 attendees, well, that's $300 a month um, to be able to have up to a thousand attendees on your webinars. Now, I I, I would hope that you're, uh, you know, at a point in your business um, where you do have as many as a thousand attendees. And the likelihood is if you are doing webinars um, on, a, on a regular enough basis uh, and bringing in that many people, that you're also uh, converting a lot of those people from webinar attendees into customers and 300 bucks uh, a month is isn't um isn't a big investment for you. But for many of us, many, many people starting out, uh, that is a big investment. So I, I wanna I wanna show you what I think a lot of people have recognized um, as a better alternative uh, to go to webinar and similar sort of um, closed or or um, encapsulated, fully encapsulated uh, platforms like it. So um, I'm gonna jump over, actually let's just close that out. And I'm gonna jump over to um, this site which is Google Hangouts. Now, Google has two different types of Hangouts. There are Google Hangouts, which are basically um, a way to communicate back and forth between individuals, but those don't get recorded. And then there's something called Hangouts on Air. And this is what I work with a lot of my clients on because it's a free platform that's basically um, provided by Google. It's a video conferencing and broadcasting platform that's directly um, um, built in to YouTube as well. So you can basically record a presentation, record a conversation, and then you can take that YouTube video that you're recording um, on, on Hangouts on Air, so basically the same, same platform. So uh, you record a Hangout on Air. It's broadcasting live on YouTube at a at a YouTube URL and you can take that YouTube URL and embed it in any number of places online now you don't have to embed it you could actually do this right on the hangouts on air platform so let me let me show you this is um, if you go to 
plus.google.com forward slash hangouts forward slash on air. And it's important to distinguish between regular hangouts, which can't get recorded, and hangouts on air, which can, right? This is what you're going to see. And simply click here, and you can give your uh, hangout a name. So we'll just call this my test hangout, right? And I can I can say that I'm going to start this now or start it later, and I can tell people what it's going to be about. This is a test. We'll just say, and I'm going to start this now, and we'll go ahead and share. I don't know why I shared that with the public audience, but I did. And so now it's going to start the actual Hangout. So so here we go. Um, it's actually bringing me through this, uh, this new app thing that they've just uh, incorporated. But here is my Hangout, and I can actually start it right now. And what you're seeing, you're going to see me in a second. Um, I think you're going to see me in a second. I'm not sure because I think my, my camera is already in use um, for this recording. So it may not, um, may not. Oh, it actually does. Okay, so um, you, you'll see me here. And then this is the inside of the Hangout. I don't look very attractive there, do I? <laughs> anyway, the... Um, the way that this works, and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna skip this. This is asking if I want to invite other people uh, to join me. In this case, I don't, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and hit skip. And uh, there's a little bit of a delay here, but uh, you'll see now that the balance of this stuff is popping up now, and and it's gonna start loading a little bit here. And there's some other stuff that's gonna um, uh, pop up. So you'll see that uh, there's some control to, over here. Um, there's, you know, I can assign which uh, camera, which microphone I'm going to use, things like that. And uh, and then if I had guests over here, I could actually have a chat uh, for the participants uh, over on the side. In this case, I'm going to just close that. And all you need to do is hit the start broadcast. But here's the thing. I can broadcast it and it'll show up. Let's let's jump back over to that other window. So the My Test Hangout, it's actually going to show up right here and I can invite people to this page right here, this URL that's up here, and they can watch this uh, at as it's live or in replay right here. So that's basically how it works is that people have the ability to watch this as if it were a webinar um but just live over, uh, um, you know, uh, available to the public here on a Google Plus page, and people can comment here. I can I can broadcast and read the comments live and, and all of that. So it's as if it were a um, uh, you know a, uh, a webinar inside of a webinar um, uh, go to webinar but it's on a public page that anybody can access. So this is one option. If you're doing something that you want to have the ability to just invite anybody to, this is a, a reasonable option. But let's say you want to limit the access or you want to collect email addresses uh, and get people to sign up to your webinar before you actually um, uh, give them the access. So in this case, this page is wide open to the public and anybody can happen along and discover it. And you don't want to necessarily have that happen. Let's say you're really trying to, um, you know, build up your email list. Maybe you're trying to, uh, um, get some prospects names so that you can follow up with them after the webinar. Let's say you have a call to action, like you want them to buy something or you want them to, uh, um, you know, come to an event or something like that. And at the end of the webinar and some people sign up, but some people don't, well, you want a record of who actually attended the webinar or who signed up for the webinar. Then maybe you want to be collecting data on, uh, and collecting email addresses and all of that. You can't do that. Uh, um, very easily uh, with a page like this because this is open to the public. So let's just jump back over to uh, the the Hangout here. Okay, and as I told you, one option is to embed this Hangout, not have it publicly available. So you wouldn't you you can actually just tick a box and not have it show up on that page. It could be private or, or unlisted. All right, and you can get the link over here to the YouTube page that this is on, as well as the embed link to put, um, or the, the, the embed code to put it 
someplace else. And then you could limit the access to only the people who showed up on that particular page where you were embedding this. All right, so I'm, I'm going to uh, close this out because this isn't really a lesson on, you know, how to broadcast and everything. Um, I wanted to sort of show you the different options. So if I were to broadcast, I would hit start broadcast. It would broadcast, it would record it, and it would be um, showing up live on this particular YouTube page. And then again, um, th this is the embed code to, to place it somewhere. So let's say... I'm just, I'm going to actually just copy these and let's put them onto a, um, put them onto a notebook somewhere if I, if it pops up here. Yeah. Okay. So text actually let's, let's, we can skip this cause we, we don't, we don't really need to do this. So I'm going to just jump out of here. We'll close this out. We're hanging up and this thing okay so it didn't actually broadcast because i never hit broadcast so in this case nobody's going to see anything if i click um play nothing's here right it's it's going to say something like you know stand by or test hangout or something but there's nothing playing here at all okay so let's get out of this page and i'm going to show you one other way to set up a google hangout on air and that's actually inside of YouTube itself. So here we are uh, in, in one of my YouTube accounts. Um, and I'm going to go to mm, here we go. So into uh, Creator Studio. And from Creator Studio, it's going to give me uh, a bunch of options over here. One of the options is live streaming. Okay. And so here inside live streaming, I'm going to be given uh, a couple of different choices. Stream now, and and that's um, that's a lot more complicated than what I'm about to show you here, which is events. So it's basically the same exact thing, uh, creating an event. And so this would be a new live event, is what I'm clicking there. Okay, and the new live event is basically going to be set up just like a brand new YouTube video, uh, except that in this case it's going to be all right so test um live event all right and i'm going to say that i'm going to do this now and i don't want this to the public i want it unlisted and i'm going to go ahead and hit go live now and it's asking me am i ready and it's going to do exactly the same thing it's going to open up a google hangout on air uh, uh screen where you're going to see exactly the same thing that we just saw before. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually close this out because we don't need to go through this process. But that's how this basically works. Now, I'm going to take this idea that we've just discussed of a Google Hangout Air and show you some places that you might embed it. Um, one of the things you saw before was I have a plugin on one of my websites, and there's lots of plugins for this. Um, there's not a lot of free plugins, but there, there's some low cost plugins um, like Webinar Ignition, which is what I have here, Webinar Jam, which is like a, a $300 a year uh, subscription, and, and pretty cool uh, uh, stuff that it can do. Um, but the, it's sort of next level, and if you're, if you're just trying to collect email addresses and get people to register, you may not need the sophistication of Webinar Jam, but it's quickly becoming the um, the sort of standard bearer for uh, this type of uh, integration with uh, with Google Hangouts. So here's an example of a uh, a plugin. This is called Webinar Ignition, and I have a couple of choices with this one. I can run a, a live webinar that I get people to sign up for, and it's going to happen at a specific time, or I can do what's called an evergreen webinar that basically um, I can have a pre-recorded, so maybe I did it live once, but then it's pre-recorded and available on an ongoing basis. Maybe it's on demand. Maybe um, when somebody gets to the sign-up page, they'll have the choice of, you know, two or three times in the near future to choose from. Uh, you know, do you want to you want to see it at 10 a.m. at, at uh, 2 p.m. or at at 5 p.m. today, kind of thing. So th those are the choices. And so in this case, I'm I'm gonna just um, let's let's do a live webinar, and I'm gonna I'm gonna call it you know test webinar again because I'm I'm not doing anything. Um, you know, and then I, I can fill out the the basic information that I want. So. Um, Again, we'll call it the, you know, test 
webinar and I'm not going to go through this whole process but I just want to show you how this um, this happens all right so here we go um, the event date let's say that I'm doing it tomorrow at uh, 10 a.m. and poof I'm gonna create the new webinar and now it's going to ask me a bunch of additional things but basically it's it builds a whole bunch of pages around this so let's go to the um, you know, so it's asking me things like, you know, do I want a countdown timer? Uh, what was it going to look like when it's live? What's going to so here's the registration page. Uh, we'll just we'll just um, okay. So so it basically has these templates, and I can put stuff here, and and that's what the balance of these forms are that it's that it's asking me to fill out. Um, is all right. So there's the registration page. There's the thank you page. This is the the preview um, page, the counting down to the webinar. Um, so there's there's these different pages that get built. Um, let's see the um, the preview webinar page, right? So this is what it will look like uh, when when people get here. So the webinar will be here, and if people have questions, they can fill out the form. And on the back end, I have the ability to see the chat. So if somebody fills out a form, I can be inside of the controls of the webinar, right? So here is here's the live webinar screen. And I have the ability to control all of this. Now, this is a little overwhelming. And frankly, I don't love doing this um, this type of a webinar because there's a lot of stuff to, to manage. And it's much, much easier to manage a webinar like this uh, when you have more than one person. So maybe you're the presenter and you have somebody else who's monitoring the questions and, and all of that. But this is, this is basically... Uh, what most of these platforms look like is that they have the ability to um, they, they build all these pages easily for you. So there's the registration page, the thank you page, the your webinar is about to start page and all of that. Um, it it can be a little bit much and, and a little overwhelming. And I like um, simpler versions of this if I'm not uh, doing a lot of automated email follow ups, which this does do uh, webinar jam does it and, and a bunch of other things out there do, do that um, but in this case you know I, I don't tend to like using this unless there's a bunch of automation that I want to incorporate into my webinars so there's a couple of other platforms that I use and I just wanted to show you how to easily do this um, so you know what I what I didn't show you, what I neglected to show you was um, the embed stuff. So here's here's where I would uh, put that embed code. Um, so this is that the the live webinar page, and I would just simply put that embed code that I got from uh, uh, the the Google Hangout earlier. And if I were doing a replay, I would basically have the same thing. So uh, the the replay video embed code, and that's basically um, uh, how it how it works is that you. You plug it into this um, uh, the the back end the plug in, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, of uh, to, to to be able to get the content of the video inside of this framework of of a page like this. So the video would show up here, and um, and then you'd have you know all of this stuff. Now and you can design all these things. I'm not, I'm not really going to go through the, the the details of of this too much, but there's there's a uh, different templates. So uh, you know here's sort of the basic one. There's some um, some fancy ones, and then I think if if I had bought the upgrade version of this, it probably had a bunch more. Um, but I you know I didn't really care that much about uh, having a bunch of different um, uh, bunch of different template options. Uh, these are very clean looking and and perfectly fine. So uh, so that's that's how this all works. Um, and if I didn't want to incorporate all of that automation that I was telling you about, so basically what I mean by automation, if you're not familiar with this, is you know somebody um, signs up for the webinar and then I can integrate an autoresponder, an email um, sequence that will get triggered, maybe saying, uh, thanks for signing up, by the way, before the webinar starts. Uh, here's some great information that'll really get you ready for it. And this this is stuff to either help pre-sell what you're going to be promoting on the webinar or to um, pre-frame or, or help uh, with the sort of psychological anticipation of the webinar. Um, it also is really useful to have these uh, emails that might uh, go out over the course of 
uh, you know, the, the 24 hours in advance of the webinar happening, um, it might be really useful to uh, remind people, right? Hey, you signed up for this. This webinar is going to be happening in uh, 24 hours and then send a few reminders, right? So maybe the morning of the webinar, hey, you signed up for this, don't forget, and then an hour before and then 15 minutes before and then when it's time to start. And you can all uh, you can automate all of that. Um, and that's really useful for um for a webinar that you want to really track uh, every last um, uh, uh, registrant and whether they've actually shown up. And if they didn't show up, you can send them a series of uh, emails saying, hey, don't worry, I, I noticed you didn't show up, but uh, we have a replay and you can get it here, that kind of thing. And that's where this is really, really useful. It's a little complex, but it if you, if you chart it all out, it can be very effective at selling um, on, on automation for you. So so that's one option. Now, another option that I really like, um, and, and the thing that I'm personally a lot more comfortable with is, is using a platform where I can embed stuff. So, okay, so here's my DIY digital um, training site. And one thing that I can do on this site is embed, in fact, you're probably watching this right here, um, is embed a live event. So let's say I wanna build a live cast. So here on, um, on on this platform, it's called Smart Member. I can simply create a page where I do a live cast, and I can embed. So here's my, you know, um, we'll call this uh, test webinar again, and uh, and there we go. There's our there's our test webinar, and then I can just plug in the the URL or the embed code here. So let's let's just take a random um, YouTube video. Let's see. Oops. Let's go back, and I have a um, all right. Let's so let's go back to this one that I that I just started before inside YouTube, and I'm gonna grab just so we have the um, the URL here, and we're not actually gonna broadcast this thing. But, all right, so it's loading up here, and in a moment, I'll be able to grab either the link. You can do this two ways. Basically, you can, uh, there's a lot of things where you just grab the link and, and insert it, or you can grab the embed code and insert it. So uh, I'm going to show you how that works um, as soon as this all loads up. Okay, so we should have our links in just a moment. Again, forgive me. I'm using up a lot of uh, power on my computer, trying to do a whole bunch of things at once, recording and and pulling up this uh, this hangout on air, but as soon as it does load, I'm gonna actually jump back over here so we can uh, see how this all works. So I'm gonna put this embed code right in here. All right, so let's jump back. Maybe it's loaded by now. Maybe, yep, okay, links. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on links. All right, this is what we talked about before. And in this case, I have the embed code. Whoops, for some reason it, uh, went away, but I'll go grab it again. Okay, so I have the embed code. I'm just gonna copy that, and I'm gonna go back over to this other page, and I'm going to embed it. Okay, so that's that's our embed code. And I hit insert. Now, this is not broadcasting, so it's probably gonna just uh, show up with the, um, uh, the, the YouTube sort of blank uh, display there yeah that's, that's basically what's going to show up and then i can decide all right do i want to have on this page do i want to have commenting so if i want to have people uh commenting below the the video right so there <laughs> there we go uh let's see okay so i'm going to go ahead and click on commenting and i can set this up um basically just as it's just basically a video and then a, a comment stream below it so yes i want to display comments and uh i don't want to i want to let's see auto approve comments yep okay so i want to auto approve comments so that when comments come in uh they automatically get approved and i'm going to go ahead and hit save changes and then we'll take a look at what this page will look like um uh, when when it gets and and again I didn't do any design anything here so we're just going to go ahead and view this page now and this is my sort of uh, quick um, quick design webinar uh, page 
I think it's, yep, here we go. It's loading, right? So this is um, sort of a, a hybrid of the, the fancier thing that I showed you um, uh, over here with webinar ignition, maybe. <laughs> Uh, I got so many windows up. Okay, so Webinar Ignition, which is a much fancier version. And then uh, I have this option of this um, this webinar thing where it's basically a video and a comment stream below it. And I don't have to publish this page or make it public at all until I... Um, uh, until I, you know, send out an email saying, uh, here's, you know, here's where to click to to get access to the webinar. Um, I can restrict uh, access to it to, to people who might be um, customers paying at a certain level. Um, you know, I I got so many things open here. I I should probably shut something off. So let me just let me just jump over here, get this hangout closed up. Um, and actually, I'm going to pull this video um, just so that we have a link. Okay, I'm going to grab that link and then let's we'll just hang up here. Yep, I'm going to leave that call. Okay. So this is what this page might look like. And so people can comment below if they want um as the as the video is playing, I can talk to them. I can then see that uh maybe, you know, I have another screen right over here in this instance so I can watch the 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 questions as they come in and um and then it broadcasts to them, but it's not as um, sophisticated or as involved as, uh, let's say, you know, the webinar ignition or webinar jam kind of uh, uh, setup that I might uh, embed into my website. Um, so that's that's how this works. And I'll, let me show you one other version of this. So this is 22 Social. This is um, uh, the the apps that you can embed inside of a Facebook uh, fan page, and. Um, uh, I can do a webinar, basically same similar type of webinar that I just showed you where it's a video and then a comment stream that's live below it. In fact, let me let me jump over to, um, let's see if my friends over at 22Social, because they typically have these um, going all the time. So I'm going to guess that uh, I'm going to find one on this page. Let's see. Not positive, but but we'll see. So uh, let me close down a few more of these windows so we don't have as much um, stuff going on here. Okay, so what? Yeah, okay. So here is a perfect example of uh, what what my friends over at Twenty Two Social do, which is they will run a um, a webinar right inside of of uh, Facebook. Um, and there's a comment stream below it. So again, forgive me, I'm, I'm pulling out a lot of power here, but it's loading and, uh, what you'll see. So this is probably a replay of a, a, uh, a previous, their most recent, um, uh, presentation that they did. looks like, uh, uh, they did this, uh, two days ago, May, oh, or yesterday, May 17th, right? And it's probably, it's gonna, let me mute this out so I don't get the sound there. Okay, so here's Andrew, and he is broadcasting live, and then uh, he has below here a comment stream uh, where people, you know, might ask a question, they might um, uh, they might comment about something, might share links, um, any number of things, and uh, and Andrew is doing a presentation inside of a Google Hangout, um, and so you'll see. Right. If, if you you look here, so you, you see him and then he can switch to sharing his screen, which he does. Here's I'm going to just jump ahead in the video so you can see right here. He is doing his PowerPoint presentation or in this case, uh, he uses um, uh, Google Slides to do his presentations. And so, you know, you, you, you go through the presentation and then at the end uh, he comes back onto the screen to uh, answer questions and address any any um, last minute things that people might have plugged in um, to the the comment stream down below and this is a super super easy uh, platform to put together I love using 22 social as you know I I um, I'm a big fan of it and I I endorse it and uh, promote it uh, so so um, if you're not familiar with 22 social I'll make sure to leave a link to my course all about how to use it uh, right below this video um, but it's a great way, a simple way to basically take a video and plug it in and have a comment stream down below. So in this case, um, you know, so here's one of my apps where, uh, I have a video that, uh, that shows up right inside, 
um, and and I can answer questions live or I can have a pre-recorded thing where people might come and ask questions of me. All sorts of ways to, to, to make this work. So anyway, those are just a few uh, ways that you can technically put together um, a webinar or a presentation. Um, and uh, I... I'm gonna, uh, I think, wrap things up here. I'll leave uh, some of the resources that I mentioned um, in the um, uh, in the comments or in the notes below this video, so that you can go ahead and check them out and see if uh, any of these things might be useful for you as you're trying to figure out how to build out uh, your own um, easy, accessible. Um, uh, way to present uh, webinars online. So uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. And if you like this training and you'd like to get more in-depth training uh, on how to build out your business online, uh, I, I want to invite you to become a member of our DIY Digital Community. Um, you can you can uh, find it at diydigital.info forward slash join, uh, where I offer two tiers, uh, a VIP access uh, with a regular monthly training, as well as a pr uh, premium access, which gets um, um, you access to me twice a month during my open office hours on top of the training that I include uh, each and every month. So uh, please do check us out. It's diydigital.info. Dot info and uh, if you'd like more details on on that uh, hit the forward slash join um, or or you can um, you jump up to the top of the DIY digital uh, page uh, anytime and hit the upgrade button to get more details on how the program works and how to get signed up so this is David Bear from uh, Bear on Marketing thanks so much for uh, hanging out with me uh, for another training and look forward to seeing you again real soon